class in the class. We will talk CBSC 8th standard, 14th chapter, Chemical Effect of Electric Current. We will explain the chapter. You have studied in lower class that material can be classified into conductors and insulators. Material which conduct electricity are called conductors. Material which do not allow electricity are called insulators or bad conductors. And conductivity of different materials you have tested in 6th standard by using conduction tester. 7th standard you have studied the magnetic effect of electric current and the heating effect of electric current. So electricity is having another effect that is chemical effect of electric current. Chemical effect. And what is mean by chemical effect? When electricity passes through certain solutions, chemical effect takes place. What is meant by chemical change? The changes in which new substances new uh, substance or substances are formed so during a chemical change new substances are formed so when electricity passes through certain solution some chemical effect take place chemical effect take place means certain new substances get formed or chemical change happen to the solutions so if you test the conductivity of solutions you know that certain solutions conduct electricity so here we can see that solutions of acids bases and salts the solutions of acids bases and salt are conductors so we are let us study the conductivity of lime juice you know that lemon juice contain an acid called acetic acid acetic acid so in this uh, arrangement you can see uh, the, we have taken a beaker containing lemon juice and then two wire the tip of two two metallic rods are dipped here so these are two metal rods and it is connected externally by using a wire and here there is a bulb and here there is a bulb and here there is battery there is a, even though electricity is passing through lemon juice the bulb is not glowing why the bulb is not glowing in this so you have studied closed circuit and open circuit the closed circuit means electricity passes through this uh, circuit. Even though it's a closed circuit and electricity passes through the circuit, bulb is not glowing. If the bulb glow, we can uh, denote by like this length. But here it is not glowing. Why it's not glowing? That the electric bulb contain a filament. And uh, how the filament is glowing? You have studied the filament glows because of heat, heat energy produced when electricity passes through the filament. So when electricity passes through the filament, uh, the filament get heated up and it glow. But in this arrangement, the bulb is not glowing. It is because the electricity passing through the circuit is very low. Whatever correct electricity matter may the circuit will pass in and it is not enough to make the filament hot so that electricity passing through the circuit is not enough to make the filament uh, hot enough to glow how we know that electricity is passing through the circuit that's a question so a torch bulb cannot be used to test the conductivity of the solutions for that we can use LED. LED can be used. What is LED? LED is light emitting diode. So light emitting diode or LED can be used to test the conductivity of 
the solutions and led contain two metallic wires and one is slightly longer than the other the longer wire is uh, the positive terminal and this is smaller one that is negative okay so when you are connecting this led with the, the cell or a battery you have to connect this long wire with the positive terminal and smaller one with the negative terminal that you have to be very careful while connecting led with the circuit and what's the peculiarity of led led need very slight electricity very low electricity uh, to glow so that's the importance of led you know that led require very very less amount of electricity so nowadays in our home we are using leds and in place of cfi cfi compact fluorescent lamps we used to have and that is replaced now with the led because led consume very less amount of electricity and here the heat is here the led is glowing not because of heat uh, and here ordinary bulb you know ordinary bulb is glowing when this uh, filament that is made up of uh, tungsten get heated up and uh, uh, producing the light so here more electricity get wasted in the form of heat but in this led there is uh, no such wastage of electricity that's why nowadays we are using led so if in the place of this uh, ordinary torch bulb if we use an led the led glow and another very easiest method of testing the conductivity is that by using a magnetic compass last year you all studied magnetic effect of electric current so let us see an another tester that we can use in the place of torch bulb uh, by using a magnetic compass to needle and this needle always align itself in north south directions that you have studied and uh, here by uh, inside you can take uh, for making this simple conduction tester uh, to make a very simple conduction tester you can take the empty tray from a match box you know the match box tray uh, which contain uh, this uh, mastics okay so you can take that uh, uh, tray and uh, in that tray you can keep the magnetic uh, compass and uh, you know this electric wire is wound around the uh, tray okay and it is connected to a battery also and the free end can be dipped in a in the solution where you can test the conductivity okay so when electricity passes through the circuit what happen you have studied that uh, you have studied the magnetic effect of electric current magnetic effect of electric current you have studied in seventh standard what is magnetic effect of electric current you know that a current carrying wire around a current carrying wire a magnetic field get produced so any conductor which through which if the electricity passes a magnetic field get produced here we have kept the magnetic compass inside the match box tray and around that the wire is the if electricity passes through that wire what happen yes magnetic field get produced why we wound like this in the seventh standard you have studied uh, current carrying coil of wire act as a bar magnet you know there is a magnet contain uh, this two poles north pole and south pole you have studied so like that here when this uh, wire is wound around the match box tray here also lot of magnetic field get produced and inside the compass there is another magnet the needle of the magnetic compass is a magnet you know so when magnetic field get produced what happen okay this automatically the magnetic needle get deflected so even if a very slight electricity passes through the circuit magnetic field get produced and that magnetic field uh, make the needle of the compass
deflection. So even if a very slight electricity passes through the circuit, magnetic needle get deflected. This is how you can test the conductivity of solution. So it's a very uh, simple uh, conduction tester that we can make by using an empty matchbox tray and a magnetic compass along with uh, this copper wire and a battery. Understood? Now let us discuss this experiment and uh, here we are, you have seen two metal rods uh, which is dipped in the solution. So solution like lemon juice which conduct electricity the liquids liquids or solutions solutions which conduct electricity this liquid or solution which conduct electricity are called or electrolyte solutions which undergo a chemical change solutions which undergo a chemical change by the passage of electricity are called electrolyte so here lemon juice is an electrolyte understood now you can see two metallic rods uh, which is dipped in the electrolyte so these metal rods metal rods in the in the place of metal rods you can even use carbon rods carbon rods carbon rods can also be used in the place of metal rods you have studied carbon a one form of carbon sixth standard you have studied pencil lead what is the pencil lead made up of yes pencil lead is made up of graphite so graphite is also a conductor graphite is a conductor so graphite or metal rods which are dipped in the electrolytes are called electrodes these are called electrodes so what are electrolyte and what are electrodes what are electrolyte solution which undergo a chemical change by the passage of electricity are called electrolyte and what are electrodes two metallic rods or carbon rods which is dipped in an electrolyte are called electrodes understood and through electrodes only electricity passes into the solution electricity passes into electrolyte and through electrodes so what are electro electrodes electrodes are two metallic rods or carbon rods which are dipped in an electrolyte through which electricity passes into an electrolyte understood now let us discuss the passage of electricity through water and before passing electricity through water we used two electrodes and these two electrodes are carbon electrodes carbon graphite that we get from the discharged cell and here there is metal cap metal cap in a cell uh, there is uh, in the center there is a carbon rod you all of you know and here you can see a metal cap okay so this can be taken out when this cell get discharged you can take this carbon rod along with this metal cap and you can use this uh, carbon rod with metal cap as electrodes and these two carbon rods are connected to the copper wire and copper wire is connected with these two carbon rods and there is a battery and through which electricity passes into the electrolyte now let us discuss passing electricity through water So what happens when electricity passes through water and uh, here we have taken water as electrolyte uh, allow electricity to pass through this water but you know that pure water or distilled water is not a conductor distilled water is not a conductor but uh, the ordinary tap water or the water that we get from the well this uh, slight conductivity is there because that water contains dissolved salt in it 
but even though uh, this uh, conductivity is very less so to make this water a good conductor you can add few drops of acids or salt into water you can add a teaspoon of common salt into it to make it a conductor or even you can add two three drops of dilute hydrochloric acid to make it a good conductor and in this setup when electricity passes through water what happens we have studied chemical change will take place chemical change will take place to water you know water water is uh, the chemical formula we have studied h2o it means that water molecule contain hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio 2 is to 1 what happens when electricity passes through water let us discuss you can see here two electrode two carbon rods are present and one carbon rod is connected to positive terminal and other one is connected to negative terminal and the rod which is connected to positive terminal is known as anode and this carbon rod which is connected to negative terminal and this carbon rod is known as cathode what happens when electricity passes through it? Let us see. You know, this water is actually composed of hydrogen ions and hydrogen ions. So, water molecule actually contain hydrogen ion and hydroxyl, hydroxyl ions. Hydroxyl ion means OH minus ions. You just understand in this water there is uh, H plus ions and OH minus ions. Two type of ions are there. These charged particles are called ions. So conductivity of any electrolyte is because of the passage of this ion. Any any uh, electrolyte if you take that contain this type of positive and negative charged ions in the uh, in this metal wire electricity passes because of the passage of electrons but in the solutions electricity passes because of the movement of hydrogen ions and of hydroxyl ion likewise positive and negative ions so here one electrode is connected to positive terminal so here it will be positive and it is negative and when there is uh, this ions inside there is ions I told you hydrogen are this H plus and OH minus ions are there so all of you know that opposite charge attract and same charge repel each other so here this hydrogen moves towards the negative terminal that is cathode when electricity passes through water what happens this uh, positive term uh, positive ions moves towards negative terminal negative electrode and uh, the negative ion present here moves towards the positive uh, positive electrode or anode okay that is why you just understand in this uh, negative terminal we get hydrogen gas and in the positive terminal we get oxygen gas so that is very important the, by the electrolysis of water we get hydrogen hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is produced in the uh, in the negative negative electrodes and uh, this oxygen oxygen gas is produced in the positive electrodes positive electrode we get oxygen gas and negative electrode we get hydrogen gas and the amount of hydrogen produced will be double of that of oxygen you know that the water water the chemical formula of water is h2o it means that the amount of hydrogen is double of that of oxygen so here uh, these bubbles you can see forming on these two electrodes hydrogen gas and oxygen gas get produced and the production of hydrogen gas will be double uh, of that of oxygen gas this much things you must understand this activity is known as electrolysis of water electrolysis of water so by this activity we know that water contain 
hydrogen and oxygen so this process is known as electrolysis of water electrolysis of water means electro means electricity lysis means breaking up of water so by using electricity you can break water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen you know that water is a very stable compound it is very difficult to split hydrogen and oxygen from water molecule and electricity by using electricity only you can uh, divide or you can decompose water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen understood so this process of uh, splitting up of water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen by using electricity we call it as electrolysis of water this activity is first performed by a british chemist known as william nicholson this activity is first uh, done by a british chemist called william nicholson in 1800 so it's a very very uh, important process that is uh, done by william nicholson a british chemist in 1800 so today's class we have discussed what is meant by electrolyte what are electrodes which are the two type of electrodes anode and cathode and what happen when electricity passes through electrolyte appo nammal ithrey karyangalana innathe class il padichathu so in the next class we will study electroplating electroplating of copper in thodarnulla ee chapter inde baaki bhagangalum adutha class il edukkunnadayikku appo ellavarum padikkuga bye